Hi, this is Carol Dodsley, better known as the G Plus How To Girl. And I want to share with you today three ways that you can save posts for later reading. So often people are asking, I want to have a favorite posts page. I want to keep things that I've seen on Google Plus. I want to bookmark them, but I don't know how. So let's go through and let's show you the three ways that you can do this. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to your circles. So I'm going to open my circles and in here create a new circle. So click here Don't put anybody in the circle, just create an empty circle. So I've called that circle my favorite posts. So I've now created that circle and the next thing to do is as I'm navigating around my home stream, my communities, anywhere else, I see a post and think, ah, I want to keep that. So for instance, here is a great recipe that Larry Fanilia has shared and I want to bookmark this. I want to go back to this later. So I'll click on the share button and I'm actually going to take that out. I'll put a quick reminder to myself what that is. Type in what it is so that I have a reminder. And then here I'm going to type in and I'm going to pick my favorite posts. So I've picked my favorite posts, which is my empty circle, click share. And now when I go to that circle, and you can see at the top here, I'm in my favorite posts, voila, there is that recipe. So I can just keep sharing posts to my favorite post circle, and I will always have them in one place. And you could do this with several circles. You could have a circle for your favorite recipes, a circle for your favorite images, a circle for your favorite news items. So you could have several of these bookmarking circles set up. Now another way you can do this is to actually create a blank community. So you could go to communities and here click create community, make it a private community. Call it whatever you want to call it. Can people search for it? No, you want it hidden from search because this is private to you. Click create community. So I now have a blank community. I go back to my stream and oh, there's a great recipe I want to save. So I now type in here and there's my favorite recipes, that's my community, and I know it's a community because it has the little round mark, community mark on it. And I can now click share. And when I go back to that community and refresh it, there is my favorite recipe in the community. So that's the second way that you can bookmark and save posts that you want to save for later. Now the third way is that you can actually install a Chrome extension. So if you're using Chrome web browser, all you need to do is go to the Chrome web store and you just need this link and it's for favorite posts for Google+. Now I've already added it so I don't have the button up here to click add, but you can click add to Chrome here. That will install it for you. And what you will then start to see if we go back over to my home stream, is this little star here. Add this post to favorites. So that star will show up against any posts as you're browsing. So if I click the star, and you can go over to your home button here, and you can see there is a favorites in your menu. Click on that, and there we go, there's the post that I've just shared. So that's three different ways that you can bookmark and save posts for later. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm Carol Dodsley, better known as the G Plus How To Girl, and I'll see you in another video very soon.